You'd be hard-pressed to find a single person who does not know what Minecraft is. It's a game that's defined a whole generation of gamers and continues to be enjoyed by lots of different people even today. I myself always seem to return to it after a break from gaming, so this begs the question, why is Minecraft so popular? We're going to try and understand why for the sake of curiosity. For the unknowing and the uninitiated, Minecraft is a sandbox game with an open world. Sandbox games are hallmarked by the level of freedom a player is given to be creative, and with a near infinite open world, a Minecraft player is basically only limited by their imagination. It's often believed that the average gamer in Minecraft is between 6 to 13 years old. However, recent polls have suggested that the actual age is closer to 24. Considering these people would have been 14 at Minecraft's original release in 2011, if they're much like me, they would have grown up with and even still continue to play the game today. As many of you may know, Minecraft originally first appeared on the scene as an alpha early access. I remember during this period it was talked about a little at school, but never really gained much traction until its full release in November 2011. During the next few years afterward, its popularity continued to grow and even still continues to grow to this day. But why are so many videos made about it? Why so many songs, stories, mods and clone games? Why is there a huge online community dedicated to following just this game? The answer has been said before, but the genius of Minecraft lies in its simplicity. In Minecraft, there is no set campaign. Sure, there's the end, the wither, unique things you can do, but you can't actually physically conquer or beat the game. And then there's the creativity. You can make the game as hard or as easy as you like, and somehow the game is structured enough for the less creative and free enough for those with an enhanced imagination. It's a game anyone can enjoy and play. It doesn't require you to have quick reflexes, a big imagination, the ability to calculate complex mathematics, or even a particular purpose for the game. It can be as relaxed or as hectic as you actually want it to be. Minecraft also doesn't have a specific skill set required to play it. There's no complicated storyline to follow, no complex control system, or even lore to master. It's just a pure and simple and no thinking needed game. Finally, the music. Everyone's commented on Minecraft's music. There's been videos done about why the music's so good, why everyone loves it, and how it is genius. Minecraft's music has been discussed before, but personally, it is worth mentioning. Scratching the cave sounds, which still haunt my nightmares. The soundtrack for Minecraft matches the game perfectly, allowing you to relax and reflect, or even completely veg out. Sweden is quite possibly the most simultaneously melancholy, relaxed, reflective and hopeful game soundtracks I have ever known. Anyway, all well, this is my opinion on why Minecraft is such a popular game and continues to grow in popularity. But I think a lot of people out there share the same opinion as me. I believe there is now more interest in returning to this simple foundational game that doesn't require any thought, that we're all used to, that we're all familiar with. Even in an age where we have superior graphics, immersive stories and almost lifelike artificial intelligence in gaming. If you agree or disagree, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. My future for curiosity's sake videos will be a little less opinionated, but I just believe this one had to be said and I thought I'd start with something easy straight up. If you've got any ideas or topics you want me to find out more about, I'd be happy to hear about it. I'm always keen to jump down the Wikipedia rabbit hole, so if you've got a topic, let me know. Anyway, for all my subscribers who've stuck around for a long time, waiting for me to come back to the channel, it's good to be back, and I'm looking forward to making more videos like this. So let me know what your opinion is on it, if you want to see more of them, and if you do have any ideas, I'd be more than happy to hear it. As always, lads and lasses, have a good day and a good life, and I'll see you in the next one.